Uh, hello everyone. Uh, it is Brandon and Carrie again after uh, about two months. Uh, it has been two months since our our last video, and um, I don't know what what you all noticed, but the first thing I noticed and look at this video is my face is so much bigger than it was last time, and uh, contrary to uh, what my dad believes, I haven't gained all that much weight. In fact, uh, my doctor's appointment today, I only gained five pounds from from my last appointments. But uh, I've been on the steroids for the last couple months, and uh, it has definitely made me much puffier. So uh, I I noticed in looking at myself a, a much much fuller face. And uh, anyway, so as I'm talking to you, obviously I see myself and. It's kind of weird, but uh, anyway, uh, as I posted on Facebook a little bit earlier, um, we have some good news to share, so we'll get into that a little bit and talk a little bit about some of the things that uh, we've been experiencing over the last uh, eight weeks or so, and uh, talk to you a little bit about what we have on the horizon uh, for, the, for the next eight weeks until the next MRI, so... Any uh, words to share before we get into the details? No? Okay. So sorry if that was an awkward introduction for some of you, but it's just I can't help but notice how round my face looks. Not that I don't see it in the mirror every day, but just seeing on camera, looks it looks a little bit different. Uh, anyhow. So, uh, as we told you in the last video, there really wasn't all that much to share. Uh, from from the last time, uh, nothing happened medically between the the last video, which came after the MRI, um, and and this one. So uh, and actually today almost went. Uh, I don't want to say almost went poorly, but it it almost had a an ending that um, that we were were definitely uh, not hoping for, and that is because there was a, a mix-up at our uh, appointment. The MRI that I was to have was supposed to be in the early afternoon uh, at 12.15, but uh, we were never notified of that. So uh, I have, uh, through UPMC, an app that has all my appointments listed. Sometimes we get emails or we'll get a letter in the mail. Uh, so I had some blood work that was done today and then a, a follow-up appointment scheduled with uh, the doctors at, at Hillman. But uh, again, the, the most important part of the day, at least by my estimation, was getting the MRI done uh, because that's the stage at which I am now I'm to have bi-monthly MRIs. And uh, when we arrived at Hillman at 2 o'clock, to get the blood work done and then to, to see the doctor, uh, I began to wonder, you know, when, when are we doing the MRI? And uh, we, we talked to the receptionist and she said, uh, hold on, let me check your chart. Went uh, back to the, the room and said, oh, you were supposed to have your MRI at 1215. And I said, well, I wish somebody would have told me that because uh, that didn't happen. I wasn't aware. And, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to talk to the doctor about because we didn't have the MRI. So through a, a series of events and uh, just really asking uh, and uh, telling the the doctors that this was a big deal today uh, to take uh, time off of work and it had we had to uh, schedule uh, babysitters for the kids and drive all the way into Pittsburgh. Uh, there was a lot that that we had to go through to make this day happen, and now the the primary purpose of uh, today wasn't going to happen. But uh, thankfully, they were able to call over to Shady Side, which is just right across the street, get the MRI scheduled. Uh, we were able to do that, uh, so Carrie and I walked over to Shady Side, got the MRI, were able to make it back in time to Hillman to go over the results, and uh, the re results revealed that. I do have some uh, decrease in the swelling from last time. So that was the big issue, if you all remember, it was the uh, the brain swelling, which was causing the various symptoms. 
and uh, so since that time I've been on the steroid. So uh, the doctor believe, uh, believes that the steroid certainly could have helped with the swelling, but uh, she also thought that it was just a matter of uh, just naturally uh, my, my brain was healing. And uh, if there would have been an increase in swelling, that certainly could have revealed that there was new tumor growth. Uh, but since we didn't see that, uh, that that's, uh, they're very confident, highly confident that at this point there are no signs of new tumor growth. And uh, also uh, better news that the, the swelling has subsided. So this, the next step is to uh, begin to back off the steroid and hopefully get off it completely. Uh, so over the, the next several weeks, I have, will be on a taper schedule to get off of that. So uh, maybe in time for the next video, uh, I, I won't have such a round face. <laughs> that'll, that'll be the goal. I'm not going to lie, you like shocked me with how you started that because you did not say anything about talking about that. So. Yeah, but I couldn't help it. I'm looking at myself <laughs> I look at, like an egghead. Well, yeah, <laughs> and I also realized that I, I don't have uh, I, I don't have the best selection of, of clothing because uh, this is the same shirt I wore last time. So you just don't care. You have a lot of stuff. You just oh, don't I, care. I, I do have plenty of clothing. I just I tend to go back to the same shirts, I guess. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so what what else? Can we talk about that uh, has transpired? So I mentioned I had to take some time off of work today. I went back to work last week, uh, which is something that I was anticipating. In fact, I went back on the six-month anniversary of the day that uh, we discovered that I had cancer uh, in, in the seizure. So January 7th was that day, and uh, July 7th I went back. And I'm, and I'm driving again which is uh, nice to, to regain that independence and be able to uh, help carry with taking the kids places and uh, being able to drive the work. Uh, just, it's a blessing. And one of the things people have asked me, you know, how do you feel to get back to work? Are you excited or, you know, what, whatever. And, and really, my, the first feeling I have is gratitude. I, I'm just thankful that uh, six months later, I'm able to go back to work. Uh, you know, at this point, uh, I feel well mentally. Um, I am dealing with, I believe she called it steroid myopathy. I know it's myopathy, but yeah. uh, because I've been on this heavier dose of steroid, in the, and the steroid that I'm on is called dexamethasone, which is, is much stronger than pregnazone, which is probably a, a more prevalent steroid. Uh, I'm beginning to really deal with muscle fatigue. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a struggle for me to even get up off a, of the chair, uh, to climb stairs. It's, it's, I guess it's one of the side effects of, a, of the steroid and it's starting to set in. So um, I'm glad that the, the doctors today said that I can begin to, to taper off of this because it, it's, it's uh, beginning to uh, have some negative side effects. Yeah, the, mentally, um, and, and just all the symptoms I was dealing with before, those have remained um, non-issues. So all the gastrointestinal issues, the appetite issues, the, the fatigue issues that I was having before, uh, those have not returned, thankfully. So uh, that part of the steroid is good. I guess the, the negative side effects, though, uh, some of them are beginning to settle in. Uh, having difficulty sleeping, in particular since I started back to work last week. Um, and I, I don't know if it's because, you know, now I have to engage more with my brain and and, and do things that I wasn't doing before. Um, I'm, I'm up very early in the morning and sometimes can't go back to bed. So uh, I know there were a couple of days last week I was up 3 a.m. I think the one day I was up at 2.30 a.m. Uh, so by the time I was done with work at, at 5 p.m., I had put in quite a full day uh, just you know being up and so anyway I'm trying to get back into a more regular routine trying to get uh, a better sleep schedule going but uh, again just thankful this was day six back to work today even though it was a half day um, 
that I'm able to do that. Um, who else? Timothy broke his wrist. Yeah, the things on on the side. Well, and, and I, this is remarkable because uh, up to this year, and this includes my uh, thirty five years before this year, and then completing my thirty sixth year as of March. And uh, Carrie had a birthday over the last uh, what three weeks ago now, so she turned thirty three. So oh, you have to tell everybody. Oh please. Oh you're, great. You're not at that stage of life. I think so, I am. No, you're not. So anyway, um, he we, said we, twenty three. For everyone that right, <laughs> yeah, because I, we got married when I was twenty one, <laughs> and that makes you how old. So anyway, um, so between the two of us and then our ten children, no one in our family had ever broken a bone until January seventh when I had the seizure. So I I started it this year. And I broke uh, my shoulder in two places. And then, I think, didn't you break your nose? The, oh, yeah, your, I did. Or you broke your ah, nose yeah, when yeah. Trista right. hit her in the face with a softball. It's like, you get a broken bone. <laughs> yeah. And then we uh, we got the kids a new play set uh, with the swings and slide. And that was installed on June 21st. Yeah. And didn't take more than two weeks before Timothy, who was six, to fall off the monkey bars and he uh, fractured his wrist. And uh, we actually had a couple other, they weren't broken bones, but we had a couple other injuries recently on the trampoline. So, two sprains. Yeah. We've uh, started the summer off with a bang here with, uh, with some injuries. So uh, nothing too serious. In fact, Timothy goes tomorrow to get, uh, it's, a, it's a different type of cast. Uh, than you know what I remember casts being as a kid that you know the hard cast that everybody signed. Uh, this is something that he can take on and off. But uh, anyway, he goes back tomorrow and hopefully uh, the wrist is healed. So uh, that ordeal should be over with at this point. But uh, hopefully, no more broken bones this summer. No more trips to the emergency room for sprains or or whatever else. But. You know, I guess that's what happens when you have ten children and they're outside playing uh, trampolines and slides and swings and monkey bars and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that that has happened. Uh, we're about midway through the summer, so we're trying to manage everything, uh, keep the kids active, but also keep them uh, active with their with their schoolwork and summer reading. Uh, so like we were just talking about today, they've what roughly six weeks or so uh, worth the summer remaining until they start back to school, and uh, so that that's been that. Uh, in fact, the the next MRI should occur maybe midway through September, so uh, school will be fully back in place. And then Carrie and I have a trip planned in October. Uh, we are planning to go to uh, it's called the Truth Matters Conference in Southern California, just outside of Los Angeles. And uh, hopefully we can spend a little bit of time doing some sightseeing out there. Uh, it'll be the first time that we've ever been able to go away together and uh, be your first time on an airplane. Yeah. Excited? No. You're not? I'd rather okay. drive. Well, if we had time, we could do that. But that, that won't be possible. So that, that's what we have to, to look forward to. Uh, you know, medically, again, because of my situation and my, my uh, cancer is considered to be stable uh, until I have new growth or you know, progression of tumors. So uh, this MRI today, essentially, um, you know, things could change, but essentially gives me two months to look forward to. Um, where I can, uh, you know, plan to live a, a semi-normal life, um, and uh, so that includes working and and uh, driving and doing all the things that uh, you know I had been accustomed to doing before the, the cancer uh, diagnosis back in in January. Yeah, um, I just want to say though that this is not really it's not a surprise that it's there's nothing there. 
Um, you know, that's what we were praying for, and that's what we wanted. I thank everyone for their prayers and everything. Um, but they said usually around 12 to 18 months is when they would typically think that they would see something. So um, I was thankful, but also you were having a little bit of um, pressure in your head and a little bit of that tingling in your leg, and so which made a cause for concern if that you know were the or a tumor coming back, but it's not so. Um, yeah, and the doctors did say that this could be related to the steroid as right, well. Right, right, yeah. yeah. But I just wanted to add that in that there were things, there were signs that could have looked like it could have been growing back, um, but it's not right now. Mm -hmm. And that um, it's good news, it's great news, but it's pretty much you're following the course so far. Um, right, yeah. Like, I mean, you've had, you've had worse things happen, like, you know, the different things, like the platelets, that was an upset, the kidney failure, that was an upset. Um, so you've had things along the way, but right now it's good that you didn't have. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So uh, if we can ask you all to continue praying, uh, that would be our request to to pray that uh, that this would continue to be the case for you know, two months at a time that we wouldn't see new uh, progression. Uh, you know that. Eventually, uh, statistically, you know, we'll probably be faced with this within the next year or so. But um, you know, we're we're not worried about statistics. Uh, we serve a, a great God, and it, He will allow it to grow, or, or He will not. And uh, so, we just pray for His mercy that uh, that this would. Uh, stave off for as long as, as possible. Um, so, I mean, and that's all that, that we can do. Is just take each day at a time, be uh, thankful for the day that we're given. Um, and really, that's that's all that we all can do. I know. Um, it just makes it that much more real, I guess, when, when uh, faced with a with a, a diagnosis as I as I am, and uh, we're kind of given that glim uh, future that you know that most people in my situation don't live a very long life but you know as I said before God knows the number of my days uh, I don't and uh, so I'm going to be thankful for every day that I have so that's pretty much it uh, not too much uh, else to report uh, I, I I know I have a, a good Bible verse that I picked out this time, and it's on my phone, and we're using my phone to record. So, uh, do do you have a, a good Bible verse to just oh. just share? Oh, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but oh, jeez. <laughs> uh. Uh, I'll tell you what. I I'll post it uh, on on Facebook, and I'll post it on YouTube so that you can all read it and see it. So. Um, I was reading through the the book of Job, which I uh, I completed, and then I'm actually reading through the, the book of Matthew now. But uh, there was one the other day that I I copied. I was reading it on my phone, so I copied it and I pasted it, and put it uh, specifically because I wanted to read it tonight. And then uh, we're we're using my phone to record this, and so it's just not going to work out. But again, I'll I'll, I'll post it uh, under the the video and I'll post it under the the Facebook uh, post where I usually put these videos for those of you on Facebook so that way you'll get to read it all right so looks like we went about 20 minutes or so tonight no final thoughts no all right thank you so much again for uh, for praying for us for for caring for us for all the cards uh, oh you know what I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that before we shut this off you got it People have, have to see this. Okay, so if you go back in our videos, you'll see how this all started and how many cards there were. And I, I know I'm probably not doing it justice. <laughs> no, you're not. Here, okay, I'll, I'll let Carrie do it then. All right, quickly, here we go. All right, there we go. All right, <laughs> and, and that's from all of you. That's from all of you who have uh, loved and supported 
and encouraged us along the way. And uh, we, we can't thank you enough uh, for that. Um, I still get cards. I mean, not quite as many. Uh, it's six months after this all started, but I still get cards weekly. Uh, and I, I get messages weekly. So uh, we are blessed. We are absolutely blessed. And we, and, uh, we, we just uh, we feel the love uh, from so many people out there. And, and hopefully we're able to reciprocate that. Again, that's that's our hope. All right. Well, have a good night, and uh, we'll hope to talk to you all soon. Bye.